This is what you need to know about redstone hexadecimal full adders. What they are, how they work, and one in action. In the world of computational redstone, an adder is a redstone circuit that adds two numbers together and gives the output. Half adders can add two numbers together but don't take into account carry in and carry out. The other type of adder is a full adder. It functions like a half adder but can carry. So for example, if we have the equation e plus 7, a half adder will produce an output of f, which is 15 in decimal. A full adder will give us an output of 1, 5, which is 21 in decimal. So if you're needing simple equations that will never go over 15, a half adder will work just fine for you. However, if you want to calculate anything over 15, a full adder will benefit you greatly. Hex full adders are unique in that they actually require three circuits to function properly. The first is a half adder, which allows us to generate most of our answers. So as you can see, with a half adder, we can do any addition up to 15. Now here's the issue though, if we go say 8 plus 8, the output of the half adder is 15 and not 16 like we want it to be. Because redstone cannot go over the value of 15. That is where this circuit comes in. So this circuit allows us to generate a carry. Basically if it's a number over 15, then it will output that number minus 15. So how this works is it uses the equation b minus not a. So as you can see, if I do 1 plus 1, we have 1 minus 14, which in redstone signal strength is 0. If I have 8 minus 3, we have 8 minus 12, which is also 0. I can even go up to 15. So say 8 plus 7, we have 8 minus 8, which in signal strength is 0. Now look what happens when I give 8 plus an 8. We get an output of 1. So 8 minus 7, we have a 1. Similarly, if I were to just break this and do 15 plus 1, we have an output of 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And this will work all the way up to 15 plus 15. 15 minus 0 is 15. There's a slight issue with this design in that if we have any number over 15, this lamp will immediate, our output will immediately be given a value of 1. Well, we don't want f plus f to equal 1, 1. We want it to equal 1, 0. So to do that, we're just going to subtract 1 from this answer, and that's most easily done by just moving it over one block. So now, as you can see, if we have 15 plus 1, we still have our carry signal right here, but our computer would read 1, 0 and not 1, 1. And if we add 15 plus 2, which is 1, 1, then we have 1 as our carry and 1 as our output. And this works all the way up through the values of up to 15 plus 15, which is 1E. So we have 1 as our carry and E as our output. The rest of the circuit is just figuring out whether we use the half adder, the carry calculator, or neither depending on extreme cases. So in all, for a hex full adder, we have three circuits, the half adder, the carry calculator, and then the rest of the adder. So here we have a fully working hex carry cancel adder. Now this is not my design as I had to make my design a lot more complicated to fit the requirements I wanted for it. This design was made by a YouTuber named Yellow Bunny. So the reason I wanted to show this design is because this is the design I used to build my own hex CCA. So the only thing I changed about Yellow Bunny's design was I just recolored some of the blocks so that way you could see the circuits. So the dark blue wool is the half adder, the light blue wool is the carry calculator, and all the rest of this cyan wool is for generating the output. With the height of this design, it's only possible to get up to 4 hex digits, which is equivalent to 16 bits in binary. That shouldn't be much of an issue to you guys, since most redstone computers use 8 bits. This would be plenty for a redstone computer. So to show it in action, I'm just going to go ahead and do the simplest equation of 1 plus 1. As you can see, we have an output of 2. Now, if I were to say do the equation 1 plus 14 or e in hexadecimal, we would get an output of f, which is 15. Now, if I did 1 plus f right here, we should get the answer of 1, 0 or 16. And as you can see, the full adder carried the digit and we now have 16. 
then I can add a two up here. And as you can see, this is now at three. Now this design is Java and mostly Bedrock compatible. There are extreme cases in Bedrock of where if you have 15 in your top bit and then you carry, it won't carry. So as you see, this should have disappeared and then it should have gave me an output. However, just because of how this circuit works right here in Bedrock, it's not going to work. But as you can see, it should be a pretty easy fix. Anyways, that's the rundown on hex carry cancel adders. If you want the tutorial on how to build this design, I will leave a link to Yellow Bunny's video in the description. He did an absolute fantastic job with this design. If you want to learn some more tricks with redstone, then I would recommend you check out this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.